27 years to fulfill that wish that he left us with. But we are here today and we are able to grant him that wish. In keeping with his desires, we will keep these ceremonies simple. And it is left to the family, and I speak in their behalf, on behalf of the Marcos family, to thank all those who actually helped and made this day a reality. We thank President Rodrigo Duterte for his recognition of my father's service to the nation. We thank all the members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines who have here come to pay their last respects to their former Commander-in-Chief. We thank all the members of the Philippine National Police for the support that they have given us in these ceremonies that we are having today. And to the Filipino people for their continuing support of my father's dream of unity and progress for our country. So let today be the first day amongst many days and months and years of our continuing to work for the unity and the progress of our country. Let us be the heroes that my father asked us all to be and finally bring the Filipino nation together and finally bring the Filipinos to greatness. I would die a thousand deaths and more for my motherland. Ferdinand Edrin Marcos, former President of the Republic of the Philippines, a legislator, a Secretary of National Defense, a World War II veteran, a Medal of Valor awardee, a soldier lived with such fervent duty and loyalty in serving his countrymen. Major Ferdinand Edrin Marcos was regarded as the most decorated hero of the World War II for receiving high honors and commendations, which include the Medal of Valor. Selfless service, integrity, and personal courage defined his extraordinary accomplishments as a young Filipino soldier who was subjected to torture by oppressors, fought in desolate battlefields, and conquered the Japanese invasion in the country. Battles of Pesan Pass and the infamous Death March. When the Philippines obtained independence, his undying commitment to service continued as he pursued his political career. After topping the bar examination in 1939 with 98% rating, the highest record in Philippine history. Ferdinand Marcos was elected thrice as representative of the Locos Norte from 1949 to 1959.